Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at the final question of the paper, question 15. So question 15 says that figure 4 shows a sketch of part of the curve C with the equation y equals 32 over x squared plus 3x minus 8. The point P is the coordinate 4, 6, so that's this point here, 4, 6, uh, lies on C. The line L is a normal to the curve C at the point P. The region R, is shown shaded in figure 4, is bounded by the line L, the curve C, the line with equation x equals 2, and the x-axis show that the area of R is 46. OK, so what I think I'm going to do in this question here is I'm going to divide my section into two parts, R1 and R2, and that some of these two will make the total of 46. On the right-hand side, we have a right-angled triangle, and on the left-hand side, we just have some integration under the region 2 to 4. So let's go ahead and do R1 first. So R1 is just going to be the integral of 32 x to the minus 2 plus 3x minus 8 dx in between the boundaries of 4 and 2. Let's go ahead and do this integration then. So it's going to be increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, uh, plus 3 over 2x squared minus 8x in between the boundaries of 4 and 2. So let's now substitute these in. It's going to be minus 32 to the power, so times 4 to the power of minus 1, plus 3 over 2 times 4 squared, minus 8 times 4. And then that's going to be the first part. Then we substitute in 2. It's going to be minus 32 times 2 to the minus 1, um, plus 3 over 2 times 2 squared, minus 8 times 2. So I've substituted 4 and 2 in. Let's now work out what each of these are. In the first case, it's going to be um, minus 32. 4 to the minus 1, that's a quarter. So it's 32 times a quarter, which is going to be minus 8. In the next part, 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 3 times 8 is 24. And the next part, 8 times 4 is 32. Uh, so that's going to be the answer to the first bit. Minus, um, is that a negative? Minus 3, this is your right squared. Yeah, that seems to be a negative. Um, minus, uh, 30, minus 32, uh, 2 to the minus half, that would be a half, so that would be minus 16. Plus uh, 4 over 2 is 2 times 6, minus 16. So let's now add all of this together. This calculation inside this bracket, 32, so that would be 8 away, so that would be minus 16. And then in this bracket over here, it's going to be minus 32, um, minus 26. So the answer to this thing in total is going to be 10. So the area of R1 is going to equal 10. Okay, let's now move on to concentrating about R2. Let's just give ourselves a bit more space here. So we've got the boundary of 4 here, and this is 4, 6. Now, if line L is a normal line, it's really important that we work out the gradient of the point at, of line of C at P, and then we'll find the perpendicular gradient. So it's going to be, um, first of all, we need to differentiate. So it's going to be 32x to the minus 2, plus 3x minus 8. I'm just writing my same curve in a more differentiable form. So let's now dy by dx equals times the um, power to the front and decrease the power by 1. Uh, times the power to the front, decrease the power by 1, and then minus the 8. So let's now plug in the value of x equals 4 to work out what the gradient is equal to. So 4 to the power of 3 is going to be 64, and then minus 6, that would be minus 1 plus 3 equals 2. So therefore the gradient of line L is going to be minus a half. So the equation of line L is going to be y equals minus a half x 
plus c. This is the equation L now. I'm now working out this equation. So now I need to plug in the coordinates x equals 4, y equals 6. So 6 equals a half times 4, that's 2, so it's minus 2 plus c. So therefore c equals 8. So therefore the, line, uh, the equation of line L is going to be y equals minus a half x plus c. So plus 8 because we now know what 8 is. Now we need to work out the area inside this curve here. We know the height of this curve is the height of this triangle is going to be 6. We need to now work out what the base of this triangle is going to be. So that's going to be the intersection of the x-axis when y is equal to 0. So set y equal to 0, that's going to be a half x plus 8 equals 0. Uh, move the half x onto the other side, so that would be 8 equals a half x. And times by 2, that would be 16 equals x. So this point here is 16. So therefore, the triangle is going to equal a half times base times height. So the base here is going to be 12 times the height of 6. And 12 times 6 is um, 12 times 6 is 72. Divide that by 2 and you get 36. So that there is the area for R2 that we referred to previously. So then the total for R is going to be 10. We worked that out before, plus 36 equals 46. And there we are. That is the answer to this question here. 10 marks for that question. There was lots to do in this question. First of all, we had to do a bunch of integration here, substituting in limits at the top and the bottom. And then the second part, we had to do some differentiation, working out a, uh, um, a normal to a line, and then working out the area of a triangle. So good 10 marks for that question there. So there we are. That's the answer for question 15. Uh, that's the end of this paper. Hopefully you found these little videos helpful going through the answers to June 2018. And uh, maybe we'll move on to the applied paper now. Thanks very much.